Okay, so hi everyone. Um, we're in our video in Mathematics in the Modern World, and here we're going to talk about transformations using our software application GeoGebra. So um, remember that transformations are a turn, either a turn, a flip, or a slide at any figure. And we have this uh, particular um, uh, terminologies for them. So a turn is what we call a rotation, a slide is what we call a translation, and a flip is what we call a reflection. Okay, so it is um, it is done in any figure, okay, in, in a plane. So when you repeat a drawing of a figure in a plane for several times, it forms what we call a pattern. And patterns um, have a very special place in mathematics. So a pattern is described as repetitions of a motif. So remember, a motif is any non-empty plane set. So remember, uh, if you can imagine an empty plane like this one, this is the Cartesian plane. So it should be non-empty. Um, there should be something there. So it's a repetition of that um, figure. So again, let's do um, rotation first. So rotation is a turn of a figure. Um, I'm going to illustrate one rotation example here using triangles. So first, it's very important to just give a point here in origin. I just want to do that here. Um, in in GeoGebra, whatever we do, we have here some tab in this left side, which tells us um, the information about the, the, the the points, the lines, or whatever we draw in this Cartesian plane. We can hide that if you want. But we can always drag that again in this side. So what we want to do is to uh, here I'm, I want to draw um, I want to draw a triangle. Okay. So let's create a triangle using a polygon, the polygon function. I want to put it here in for one of the the vertices is at one minus one, or rather minus one one. I want the next vertex to be here in uh let's say negative six one and the next vertex to be in um negative three four and then close that polygon so um GeoGebra automatically names the points you can rename them if you want and also GeoGebra um names the line segments as small letters small case letters uh, what i want to show you is the reflection so you can um click on this and then click on rotate around a point. So how do we use this? Kindly read this down below. We select the object. After we select the, the object, we put or we select the center of that rotation. So where would the figure rotate about? Okay, so I would select this figure, this triangle here, and I would like it to rotate about the origin. And I would like to rotate it. Um, let's show a 90 degrees clockwise rotation. And I'm going to click OK. And then there you go. Voila. This is our um, first rotation of this figure going to this figure in a 90 degrees about the origin. Um, here on the on the plane here, on the left side, it will give us all the information that is being done. So what we did is we actually rotated um, B. So B prime is equal to the rotation of B into negative 90 degrees uh, clockwise. Okay. So this is the, the result here. Okay. So you can see the result. Um, from this from this rotation that we did okay so furthermore let's let's do it one more step okay um, I'm going to rotate more and I, I will rotate around the point again I will click on this figure I want it to rotate about the origin still and I want it to rotate at 180 degrees still clockwise and I'm, I'm going to click OK and it will give me this this figure here. So this is the rotation of this figure 180 degrees about this point. Okay, about this point. Okay, this point will be the center. Okay, one more. Uh, let's use it again. Click this image. Click the center, which is A, and then I want it to rotate um, 270 degrees clockwise, and pretty much it will give us this this um, this image here. So you can see that all these images. Are a are are a result of this original image, which is here. Okay, this one. Okay, this image here. So, um, from this image, we can have this all this um this mirror this uh, rotated image. So notice that the values are are different. So here, in for example, we're going to focus ourselves in in point B. So point B uh, becomes point B prime in this 90 degree rotation. Here we have um, B prime one, we have B prime two. So 
um, it's automatically named by GeoGebra, but you can rename them again. Okay, so how do we check this? This B, this B primes came from the original B. Okay, this C primes came from this original C, and this D, the D primes came from this original D. So what if, um, sir, I want to know the, the, the coordinates of these values? So what you need to do is to click on this, and then you can, I think, you can get the values from here. Okay, so the B, you just need to get the value of B um, here. So from B, this is our B, it's negative 1, 1. If we were going to get the B prime, B prime is 1 positive 1 here, 1 positive 1. That's the rotation of B to um, 90 degree clockwise, 90 degrees clockwise. For the B prime 2, B prime sub 2 here, it's 1, negative 1. That's the coordinates. And it's the rotation of this point B to negative 180 degrees. So um, notice that if, if it is um, clockwise, it's negative. And then we have the, the, the coordinates. And we have B prime sub 2, which is down below, which will tell you negative 1, negative 1. So that's your, your coordinates. So one instance is, for example, um for the d okay d is originally negative three positive four for the d, d prime it became four positive three four positive three for the d prime d prime sub one this one became three negative four here and then for the d prime sub two we have negative four negative three and then that's a that's the rotation okay um from this this d going to this d okay, actually not not that perfect um should be a rotation like this okay and this from here from this point another 90 degrees From this point, another 90 degrees going here. Okay, from this point, another 90 degrees going here. And from this point, another 90 degrees going here. Okay, so that's how we, we rotate. So it's not only the image that rotates, notice that the that the points are changed. So that's that's the effect of when we rotate images, the, the, the vertices, the, the points of the vertices also change. And we are very particular in determining uh, these values of the vertices. Okay. Okay, so um that's how we do the rotation uh, using GeoGebra. Okay. Um in our image in in our in our uh book we have what they have is they put this uh box thingy here. Okay, why not we put it there also? Okay, so that's pretty much how you do rotation um, in the transformation using GeoGebra. So hope this helps and thank you very much for watching.